Doctor of Internal Medicine, Dr. Al Johnson, is joining us here. And Dr. Johnson, is there a way to safely play football? Oh, there is. Um, any sport has its risk to it. And even playing in the backyard has its risk. As we know, a lot of injuries just occur around the home to adults and children. Uh, what we have is an increased awareness of football, football injuries, uh, long-term effect in the pros uh, from repeated head injuries. And all this is, is good information that the parents can assimilate and evaluate the risk uh, for their children. How high really is is the risk? Well, you know, published data says one in five uh, people playing the contact sports have concussions. Uh, and the initial concussion usually uh, is bad, but it's the repeated concussions that cause the damage. So if you don't heal, then you add a head wound on top of a head wound, and then that's where you get the actual damage done. Yeah, Dr. Johnson, of course, very famous case here in San Diego, a very popular San Diego Charger, Junior Seau, took his own life, and, and they uh, really did blame that repeated head injury for these kids. Now, is there any research that shows that there, that there is a better way for these kids to play football? Well, I think one of the things, they're delaying the contact in football uh, to older age, so that really helps. There's better coaching, uh, better uh, technique that they teach the kids when they start to have contact. Uh, so all that helps. And then, of course, the, the equipment is better. They're doing a lot of research on helmets, the type of helmets, uh, how to decrease the, the uh, blow to the head. There's even inserts that they have now that, that help with the older helmets. Uh, but it's important uh, to have very good equipment uh, when you're playing football. I think some of the concern also is, is of the other injuries that can occur, you know, the knee injuries and so forth, that can affect your function the rest of your life. However, we see from surgery and medicine that our, our repairing of those injuries are, are so much better than they used to be. Yeah, but, you know, if, if most of us have run into former football players here in San Diego and their knees look about the size of a football, they don't look healthy. And these are guys in their, in their late 30s, early 40s. Well, exactly. And, and we're talking about pros, and they uh, have um, you know, a lot more injuries. Uh, they're a lot more intense than, than a lot of others, uh, and they played it for years. Uh, so you have to go back and, and look at, you know, just how you how you perceive the game, how your kid plays it, what type of coaching they have, and uh, then what risk factors you want to take and the the benefits versus the uh, the risk. Has football changed as as we know it with with all of the information that we have over the the risk of these the, you know head injury after head injury after head head injury? Are we going to see a, a real change in the way that we play football here? Well, yes, we have seen a change. Uh, there's a, you know, the rules have changed uh, about where you can hit, how you can hit, what kind of blocks you can have. Uh, so they they really have. The coaching has changed to that. Uh, there's proper ways to tackle that's less injury prone. An expert, a medical expert here on the Kogo News Live line with us, a doctor of internal medicine, Dr. Al Johnson. Thank you so much for your time and uh, happy football watching this weekend. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.